What do you mean by bossless organization? Yeah, this, this, this is a bit of a misnomer because strictly speaking, I don't think any organizations are literally bossless. Uh, there's, there's this um, notion called the iron law of oligarchy. The, the, the notion that in any social group, at least one leader will emerge or appear and, and, and you know, well, uh, assume power. Uh, and I think, you know, in the, in the, the so-called bossless companies that are always mentioned in the literature on bossless organizing, we very much do see bosses. So in, I mentioned Chris Rufa earlier, right? So this is Morningstar. We have, if we look at Valve, another of the um, poster boys with this, this narrative, uh, that's, that's Gabe Newell. Was, was very much the boss, even even though the organization is in, in, indeed very, very flat. Uh, in, in, I mentioned Otikon earlier, that was um, a very powerful boss called Lars Kohli. So when, when you look a little bit closer at these examples of bosses organization, that, or bosses organizing, there's almost always a boss, usually the founder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I think that what people actually mean, role. A founder or CEO who takes a very large leadership role and often a large presence in the organization. Absolutely. That, that's it. Exactly. 